Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we did some more side quests. We did some side quests. We started off doing side quests uh, around here, um, around Goron City, uh, in the Elden region. And um, in this episode, we're going to continue on and do more side quests. Um, I think there's only a couple more, like one or two more. Um, I don't know for sure, but I do know where one is for sure. Um, over in these hot springs. I pointed out earlier, um, but we couldn't do it yet because of, uh, because, uh, Rudania was messing up our stuff. Why did he appear and then disappear? So, uh, yeah, over here. Look at this little kid. Bro, Gru, don't you think I'm gonna say him? Gru, don't go, but I'm saying, saying, uh, not really, no. Uh, okay, get good, get that. Nonsense. I bid a treasure beneath gear. And by Bridge of Elden is a amazing stick, Billy Bull. If we bind it, is boars. So there you go, Death Mountain secret. Now he was talking about the Bridge of Elden, and there's a chest around it. Um, you can actually see it. I hid a treasure be uh, between beneath. Between here and the Bridge of Elden. It's an amazing stick. Uh, it's really cool. If you find it, it's yours. So this kind of puzzled me for a long time because A, it's gibberish. Like <laughs> like literal, almost, uh, gibberish. And like, I, I get that it's kind of part of the game, but it's, it's kind of annoying that you can't really talk to him outside. But, um... If you look at that, and for the longest time, I actually thought it was, like, between the gears of Bridge of Elden. There are kind of, like, gear-looking things. But, if you come up on top of this mountain here, you come over here, and you get this drill shaft. So, that's all it is, is just a drill shaft. Which, I mean, it could be worse, it could be better, but... I mean, a mining tool is a mining tool, so I'm not gonna complain about a free tool, you know. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that does respawn at the end of the Blood Moon. Hey, don't tell me that stick is. I found it. Oh, the jewel shaft I hid. Right, actually, I need to get a better look at it. Show me now. Here you go. Oh, I guess, I guess so. It's suspicious, though. I can't help helping, I can't help thinking that's the drill shaft I had. No mistake, mistaken it. It was definitely a big noise. Could this person be, hmm. So you went and found the drill shaft I had. Well, it looks like I lost this battle. You can go ahead and keep it. Thanks for talking to me. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of a nothing side quest, but whatever. It's, it's, I mean... At least I don't think everything needs to have a purpose. But anyway, if you follow this path here, kind of path, uh, this I don't know what you call this. It's glowing rock. I mean, it's not really a torch because it's not a fire. They could make torches. I mean, whatever. But if you follow this um, path here, let's get um, let's get a sword of uh, yeah, this kind. Yeah, let's use durability. Um, actually, let's use the, uh, this. Why not? But yeah, um, if you follow this path, it'll pretty much more or less take you straight to, uh, where you need to go. Which, in our case, yeah, right here. Gives you a nice little, uh, road map. This, this way to Forgotten Gorko, Gorko Tunnel. So, just follow the signs. Couldn't be easier. Hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, and you get a nice stone hammer here, too. Gorko Tunnel. You go here, and you find this collapsed Goron. Also a nice cooking pot you can use if you need to. Phew, uh, uh, I'm spent. Do you think that... Do you think that somewhere behind all this rubble is the secret of the hero? I know I'll become really great and important if I can find it. My only problem is that I don't have the strength to go on. My belly's empty and rumbling like mad. What do I do? Brother, so this is where you've been? I tried to think like my brother and do what he would do so I could find him. I need you to do me a favor. As a brother, I can't just sit idly by. I have to help him. Exit here and head down the hill to Gorth Gortram Cliff. There you can find rock roasts rolling around. If you, I need you to please grab one of them for me. I like more than anything to go to go and get it myself. It's just I have a chronic condition. Yeah, it's called gore on shoulder. Very serious. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, sure you do. We all have a chronic condition. It's called laziness. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we gotta do. The young, able bodied, uh, 118 year old man, Link. Yeah, he can do it. Now, along the way, you're gonna find these chews, these, um, moblins, trying to mess with your steez. And there's Daruk's uh, protection in action. So he'll protect you from any three blows you take. Um, which is kind of, which has its pros and cons, obviously. I mean, like, you do not want him to do it every time. But, um, actually a neat thing is that it, it the shield, the Daruk's protection does get cracked. You can see the aura around me is cracked a little bit more. So, that's nice that it has that touch. But yeah, mo like most any attacks that are in your general vicinity will get, um, will hit you. Anyway, these are the rock roasts. Looks tasty, don't they? And just as you, um, make it down here, you'll, you'll have those rocks spawn. These moblins back here are gonna spawn, so... It might be best to just uh, try to avoid them. Or if you have Daruk's protection, it's good to go and try to put up your shield maybe a little bit. I mean, Moblins don't have the best aim, but they have better than Bokoblin, so... You do kind of have to worry out for them. For anything, you might have to worry about the rocks more, but the rocks are more or less predictable. So they're not that hard to get. These choo choos, too. If you don't have the flame. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I was gonna say if you don't have the. Uh, okay. <laughs> if you don't have the flame breaker armor, it can be kind of annoying, but. I'm surprised that rock didn't mess with me as much as it should have, probably. Yeah, overall, this this quest isn't too hard. I mean, like it, you saw I dropped the meat, the meat, the rock roast um, there. It's really just rocks to look, that look like meat, but yeah, I, I dropped it there. But I mean, I picked it up easily enough, so it's so whatever. So all you have to do is bring it there. Finally, I've been waiting on you. Go on, drop the roast on the pot quickly. Mmm, it's amazing. This is the finest rock roast I've ever laid eyes on. I'm gonna cook it up right now. <laughs> that makes sense. I did it. I made a deliciously grilled rock roast. 
Hmm? Am I a hunger hallucinating, or do I really smell del uh, do I really smell deliciously grilled rock roast? Brother, it's ready. You're gonna eat it and love it, and everything will be as it should be again. Look at this. It's so tasty. I need to eat it right away. Wow, how did he do that? He has mind powers or something? Yummy, delicious, incredible. That texture, that crunch, oh, that gritty feeling as it glides down my throat. Oh yes, I can't forget that savory flavor of condensed minerals seared in high heat to perfection. It's a taste explosion. It's restoring my strength. I feel like a phoenix reborn ready to fly. In fact, I am Death Mountain. You're going to use best, brother. Thank you. Oh, you meant him. Now I'm full and my belly is happy. Let's do this. Gar. Goron power go! Ow. There you go. Wow, there it is. A hero's secret it has revealed itself to me. Weird, I feel like I've seen something like this before in Goron City. So, the so this is a secret to hero, eh? Hmm, it looks oddly familiar. Anyway, what an amazing discovery. That's my brother for you. Yay! Thank you. So yeah, that's just the that's the gist main gist of the side quest is to uh, do that. Not that difficult, but I mean, first timer can be hard to find the quest and also to um uh actually do the quest, figure out what to do. Oh, what's this? Greedy Hill. Oh, I remember this one. This is actually a really interesting puzzle. Kind of. And there's gonna be these, uh... Oh. Ouch. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be, um... These three paths. Here. And each of these paths, they're gonna open. And uh, the first wave is gonna have, um or mostly the first wave is going to have these big boulders and the second wave for the most part is going to have these uh the spike boulders but they're going to have a bunch of rupees in some of these uh things and overall this is a kind of an interesting concept for the shrine this is kind of what that's kind of what i uh, that's kind of how i felt um Doing these shrines, that they're more or less just a lot, um, just pretty, like, um, there's quite a few concepts rather than, um, actual, um, things, like actual good, uh, rather than actual puzzle type things, they're just more or less concepts. And I, I yeah, that, that's what I really think, like, coming back and playing the game. A couple other times, um, a couple more times. Yeah, the nice thing is that uh, the ones in the middle, at least, will uh, fall towards the center, so you can pick up a good amount. I mean, it's probably as good as you'll get uh, getting like a one of those penny dropper machines or whatever you get, wherever they are. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I I really feel like that this is a good example of. Um, a lot of bonus content, not, not bonus content, but a lot of things that they could do, like implement in other ways and maybe in future Zelda games, do puzzles like that. And they, they, and kind of just experiment what would work and what wouldn't. It's just like, when you do a room in a dungeon, it's going to be a lot more, um, you have a lot more commitment to, like, uh, have that, have that specific thing. Uh, do a lot than to just have a random uh, just have like a random optional shrine do it because all these shrines are more or less optional they're like yeah I mean that you only need like you only need 40 shrines or uh, 13 hearts to um get the master sword so you don't have to do any of these 
In fact, you get four hearts from just doing the Divine Beast, so... Um, if you wanted to do it that way, you could just do that. It's just, it just makes the game, um, easier, really. You don't have to worry about your health and stamina as much. You know, I have yet to see a uh, Lazalfos eat an insect. I wonder if they do like with their uh, with their t with their tons they like lap it lap at it like a gecko or a frog. Yeah, that's um I believe uh minus that 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 was the last um uh shrine in this area. Now we just gotta go ahead and um get uh what do you call it? The next one. Get that uh rock thing. It might just be easier to warp to Skull Lake. Um because that's closer. That shrine that we got um, before in Akala. I was actually half tempted to do it then. To get that shrine then, but I decided against it because it. I don't know. It wouldn't. I didn't think it'd flow as well as it would now. Now I don't know if I've showed off yet. Um. While you're gliding, but uh, a neat thing you can do while you're gliding is you can actually um, drop a bomb. Is our stop right? Yeah, this is our stop. Yeah, you can actually drop a bomb while you're gliding. Um, so you can kind of be like a little bomber, but. I don't find it to be that useful, but it could. It has some. Oh wow, Ruby! It has some use in certain uh, situations. Let's go ahead and start with our frost blade. All right. Oh, one more thing I'd like to mention about um, shoes. Um, you can um. When you kill them, you can actually get a, uh, you can actually get the different types of chew jellies depending on how you kill normal chews. So if I used, uh, like an electric weapon on them, they'd, they'd die and then they'd leave, um, electric chew jelly behind. Or whatever you call it. I think it is chew jelly. But, um... Oh, I guess he is. Oh, wow. What do you know? Huh. But yeah, um... Yeah, it'll drop electric chew jelly, so... Uh, you have... You can get that, or... If you do with the fire weapon, fire chew jelly, or... Um... Other chew... The, uh... Frost chew jelly. Ice chew jelly, whatever it is. And we're gonna want... Quite a bit of these. Let's take a picture of them. Okay, good. You know, one thing to. Uh, I don't know if I. Oh, that's another talus. I don't know if I mentioned that when we were. Um, when we were fighting. When we were. Um, not fighting, but you know what I mean. When we were. Um, what were we doing? I don't remember. Oh, my thing broke. Um, when we were uh, taking pictures uh, another time, but when uh, when you come out of taking a picture, see uh, how I'm crouched? You'll actually stand up, so you're gonna be, want to be careful whenever you're taking pictures to not scare away your subject. So. Uh, that's one thing to mention. A pretty important thing to mention. I guess. Oh, uh, we have this. Yeah, screw you. Oh! 
Oh, nice. I want the, uh, oh. Oh, whatever. Not that important. Uh, let's see here. Next thing. There's Alphos. He has a shield and a green ring. I think we're coming out up, up, not coming up. Oh yeah, we're kind of. Yeah, we're coming up to the edge of um. Uh, Elden, kind of. Um, so we're not going to be getting into as much um, hot climate. So that's going to be nice. I don't, we'll actually throw it. Okay. That is one thing about um, spears. Or, uh, wands, rather. Um, whenever you try to throw them, they will just cast it. Ouch. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. Whatever. Yeah, I don't care about your drops. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the best, um best way to go yeah alrighty and this is over by where that uh, no actually no the memory was over here um, like over here um, yeah this is just the other side of the mountain oh hello And who are you, you little guy? <laughs> Always fun to do that. Yeah, that's a that's another alternate way you could um uh do that. We're out of the um, ice, ice area. Not ice area. The um, what do you call area? Fire area. So yeah, here we go. I forget what this. Yeah, gut check. I was thinking it was gut check, but that didn't really make any sense to me at first. So, whatever. We're a core shrine. I cannot pick that up. I guess not. So, anyway. Uh, now we are actually going to end up doing some... On climbing. There you go. Hello, show me your power. Pump it up, brother. Pump it up. By the gods, I love me some muscle. This right here is our hardcore training ground, Serene Bean. This is where we come to get ripped and shredded. This is where Goron boys become Goron men, brother. Um, could you please move? I ain't moving a muscle, brother. Not a single well-defined muscle. You look like every other Goron I've seen. Minus the six-pack that Yanobo seems to have. This is a special pla platform. Sacred even. Only real Goron men as decided by us. Three, three Goron blood brothers are allowed. Besides, my little bro is in the middle of training right now, and bro a brother does not interrupt a brother's training, brother. How many times can you say brother, brother? But I gotta say, you do seem like a real man of action. Almost you, almost like you have a Goron air around, about you. I like it. So what are you, what are you waiting for, brother? Get training. Yeah, that's it. If you cl can clear our hardcore training program, I'll move out of your way. Count me in, brother. Ha, good answer, brother. We're gonna shred you to p into pieces, little man. Prepare your tiny self. Okay, let me explain this hardcore training. Okay. Starting from the bottom, climb all the way back up. Within time limit. Pick up rubies as you go. Okay, you get a passable number of rubies. Return all the rubies you picked up if you fail. Got it. Good check challenge. So, yeah, that's all we gotta do. 
I need tail is 20 rupees per attempt. Let's do it. You gotta collect 100 rupees. Alright. This is also kind of a good um, mini game. Because you can play this um, a couple times over, I believe. But yeah, this is, this is also kind of a good mini game to, to collect some roops. Yeah, you'll start out with these, just the green rupees. And you'll slowly work your way up to um, blue and then eventually up to red, I believe. I don't think there are any purple, silver, or gold rupees up here. I could be wrong. I'm not gonna stop for that one. Oops. Yeah, go ahead and take a rest. Might as well. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, you, you kind of do got to be careful about these uh, areas here. It's really useful, as you can see, to have the. Um, well, for one, more stamina, but um, the twice upgraded um, climbing gear. So you do the, get that bonus of the jumps. Okay, we still need like um, 60 rupees. Not 60 rupees, but you know what I mean. 50 rupees. Okay, we're almost done. You got plenty of time, no harm. Getting some more roops. Getting more than requested. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there are more um, as you go. See, there's the, um... Yeah, there's a bunch over here, actually. Oh, wow. Look at all these 20s. All right here. So I know that I have the time. Oh, wait, no. I should stamina. Him in her eyes. Okay, good. Okay, it's good. To eat. Now, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to um, hold back on the stick to like jump down because you can't act actually do that. Unbelievable! You passed the training. Fourth Goron Blood Brother. You go on, brother. Good check challenge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, um, yeah. You don't actually want to uh, pull back on the stick, like climb down and then jump, because you'll end up just jumping off. So that's not in your best interest, especially for the, um, this challenge. I'm pretty sure this is a blessing as well. So that's nice. Yeah, this is a blessing. Or a tour's blessing. But yeah, like as you can see, it's not that hard. Another frost blade. Great. Whatever. Yeah. And I think with that, we're just about done with the, um, with Goron City. Um, not that many quests, just a few, but just enough to, you know, wet your whistle. Hmm. Now I think in the next episode we're going to go ahead and head off back to, um, Kakariko and do some side quests over there. I'm going to double check to make sure we got all the side quests and um uh what do you call it round here done so yeah um in the next episode we're gonna go ahead and head off to Kakariko maybe and or um finish up the side quest uh here so see you guys then